Start. Ah, Dark Souls. My old friend. How many years has it been? How many builds have I thrown at you just to watch you grind them into the dirt like they were nothing? Countless. Countless of my children have I fed to you, each more hopeful than the last, each destroyed as if they meant nothing. Well, old sport, that ends today. No more will I spend hours planning out stats, paths, and covenants. No more will I waste my time thinking about the perfect build. No. I have seen the light. I have been converted. For you see, as the wisest and most beautiful goddess I know once proved to me, the answer to defeating you is simpler than you would have us all believe. You would have us believe the answer to all our problems is two little words. Get good. But I come bearing a different answer. And it's not two words. It's just one. Okay. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to bomb all the fires and fire all the bombs. Can you beat Dark Souls with only fire bombs? Let's find out. For those of you new to the channel, I'll give you a quick history lesson. Once upon a time, a miracle occurred, and my wife asked to play Dark Souls with me. We played through the entire game, DLC included, and kicked its ass back to Lordran. But the real victory, that I still cherish to this day, is the way my wife played the game. She twisted it in ways I had never seen, throwing out the old metas and coming at the game with a new perspective. And that perspective usually involves some utility spells, like Oral Decoy and Light, and Firebombs. Lots and lots of Firebombs. So, in order to honor the Firebomb Goddess, and because I am completely okay with being that guy that beats every game with just Firebombs, we're gonna do exactly that. The beautiful thing about Firebomb runs? There's no real planning. Pick the Bandit, because high health and stamina. Pick Black Firebombs as your starting gift, because Firebombs. And bam, build done. Every time you've got souls, you will spend them on one of three things. Vitality, Endurance, and Firebombs. That's it. Nothing affects firebomb damage, and once you've got high enough endurance, you can wear whatever heavy armor you want, so there's no need to collect or upgrade anything unless you really want to. And the only reason you'd want to do that is because you're a glutton for punishment who needs validation that all of this wasn't for... <laughs> Alright, let's do it. God, I hope this works. Okay, ten bombs. Gotta make them count. This is annoying frames per second counter. Hold on, let me press some buttons until we get... Ah, shit. Alright, nine firebombs. Gotta make those count. Hey there, big guy. God, would you look at that damage? It's almost embarrassing. And there we go. With four firebombs to spare, no less. Why did I grab that? You're not firebombs, I can't use you. Blah, 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 Sunny D. Blah, 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 here's some keys. Blah, blah, blah. Hello, Firelink Shrine. I missed you. Ah, there we go. Now we're in business. Dodge and weave, baby. What? Ah, the mother load. 50 souls a pop? I'll take 40. What's more, let me show you something real quick. One hit KO, 80 souls on death. 80 is bigger than 50. Ipso facto, unlimited firebombs. Are, are you picking up what I'm putting down over here? Boop. Boop. Hello, my dude. I hope you like it spicy. Well, Taurus, it's been fun, but I think it's time we... <clears throat> God damn, that thigh gap is killing me. There we go, finally. Hey there, my dude. Go ahead and give me your soap. Something tells me I'm going to need you later. Oh, hey. 555 free souls. Thanks, Dad. God damn thigh gap, I swear to God. Oh, hey, look. A pain train. Well, that's all of them. Time to go say hi to the wizard. Oh, shit. That's not all of them. All right, buddy. You're free. Come on. I got something I want to show you down at Firelink. See this foot? Here, take a closer look. You're welcome for saving you. Okay. Let's see how good the damage is. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that'll do. No, 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 no! <sighs> Gravity really is the true final boss. All right, just need some space so I can, hey, hey! There we are, there we are. Brand armor acquired. Well, it's better than fists. And that's it, first try, easy boss. All right, the dogs are a bit too fast, so I'm just gonna use the fire half of fire bombs to get rid of the, oh no, oh no, they're learning! Go, 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 go. <sighs> okay. That's going to be fun to run back through. So, how's your day going? Well, I guess that's all. <laughs> I don't need you, but I like you. So, all right. So, now that we have this bonfire, we can actually start. Shh, 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 shh. Go to sleep. Okay, beefcake. Let's see what we got. I can work with that. What the? Oh, shit. I forgot to clear the wizard. Oh, you're going to buff the boss now? Yeah, no, that's fine. 
Honestly, though, it'd be harder to hit the floor with my fire bombs than it is to hit you. Wait, why am I fighting you? I don't even need power with it. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, uh, nope. I know better than to question that one. So, quick little reason why I'm the only one crazy enough to do this run. See this here? This tiny little problem here? Looks like a run killer, right? Wrong! F minus minus! Do not pass go! Do not collect $200! I may not be able to deal damage to the bosses with anything other than fire bombs, but Milf Eater Mandrid here doesn't play by those rules, now does she? <laughs> Wait, what did I just say? Come on, Ms. Lady, I got big plans for you. Fuck. Would you please just cooperate? I'm, I'm trying to do something unique here. Shit, no more fire bombs. Time for the old faithfuls. Whew, alright, hardest fight so far. I'll give her that one. Alright, Mildred, make me proud. Okay, that, that's some decent damage. Not a big fan of the whole sit in a corner and get wailed on strategy, though. Okay, well, maybe she just needs a warm up. Let's try again. Mildred. Mildred, where are you going? You can't leave, Mildred! God, so close. Alright, third time's a charm. You know, I'm starting to suspect that this isn't going to work the way I want it to. Okay, as fun as it is watching this battle of wits over and over again, let's try something else. Alright, so, the main problem we're having is that Quelag won't focus on me. So what if I... Haha! <laughs> I knew it! Basically, whenever things start to get a little too spicy for Mildred, all I have to do is throw a useless firebomb at Arachnophobia over there. It doesn't do any damage, but it lets me draw aggro, and lets me spread some of the lava around rather than letting Quelag make Mildred her own personal swimming pool. Now if I could just convince Mildred to stop swimming in any way, we'd be good to go. Come on. Come on! Alright, finally, there we go. Mildred, I'd tell you I'm proud of you, but I'm not. I'll be honest, I didn't expect to get this far. I'm literally making things up as I go now. You know, I don't think I've ever had this much health before. It feels kind of weird not to get worried about tax- Ah! Wait! Stop! Dogs! No! Damn it! Serpentine! Serpentine! kind of want to get the slumbering dragon crest ring so I can, um, okay. Yeah, no, this is fine. Thank you, Dark Souls. Thank you, Dark Souls! Have you seen what I've been doing? Well, I guess that explains why you have firebombs for sale. Speaking of... Two hours later. Alright, champ. Let's do this. Uh... Uh-oh. Uh, uh that, that's okay. I've got the power of ingenuity on my side. You know, my math skills are a little rusty, but I don't think this is gonna work. Plan B! So we know the damage is too low, but what about the poise? If I free aim a bit and aim at that just one leg... Oh, oh, just need to line you up here and, oh no, oh no, put me down, put me down! You stupid son of a bitch, it's not a bitch. Round two, you hunk of junk. Ow. Oh shit, wait, wait. Yeah! Say hi to Lotrek for me. All right, Lemon, don't look down, just do what you gotta do. Okay, one more. Nailed it. Might as well clear out this zone since I'm here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh god, this part is gonna be a nightmare, isn't it? Okay, maybe if we- Ow. Ha-ha! <laughs> what do you think about- Oh god, that did nothing. Maybe I ought to regroup- uh, 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 uh. Okay, nope, mm -mm. nope, 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 nope. Wait a minute. Did he just- Oh, thank god he did. Let me just make a slight detour here. Gotta get something real quick. And, as fun as it would be to go through the entirety of Orlando, let's just hop, skip, jump our way out of here. All right, boys and girls, time to separate the wheat from the chaff. Hello, gentlemen. Did you miss me? Oh, fuck, there he goes. You know, honestly, the damage isn't that bad. Well, it took basically all my Estus, but that's one down. Thigh gaps are in again, I guess. Um, guys, I think Ornstein is broken. He's just been looping the same attack over and over again. Oh, wait, no, there, there he goes. He's all right, folks. And he's broken again. Different attack, but same loop. Man, this poor bastard, it almost hurts to see him like this. Let's put the old boy down, eh? Good night, sweet prince. Heretic! There is but one true goddess! Feel her wrath! Alright, time for a little cleanup. Let's see, I think I left my... Excuse me? I think I left my doll somewhere around here. And before we go, we have one last mess to tidy up. Damn, SD. You're not the only thing that's thick. Where'd you get all this health? Huh? Huh? There we go. Easy. God, I hate this thing. Wake up! Oh, wait a minute, I could just jump down the hole. I don't need your- Okay, 
Careful. Careful. Whew. There we go. Wait. Hey, that's my line. Well, the damage is good. Could do without the marathon, though. Um, have you seen my YouTube channel? I don't think things can get any worse. I've done it. I've reached my final form. It's beautiful. Ah! So, everything here is pretty beefy, and I really don't want to go get more fire bombs. So, it's a good thing that it's leg day. Ugh, I always get turned around in here. Is this the... Mm, nope. Okay, alright. Maybe this way is... Mm, nope. Okay, how about, uh... It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Uh... Alright, Priscilla. Let's boogie. Normally, I need to play around with finding you, but... You know. Fire bombs. And there we go. And now, most of the Dark Souls community hates me. Jump! Do a jump, backflip! Jump! Jump! Oh my god, Pinwheel's actually going to be a challenge for once. They just keep spawning. There. Finally. Almost embarrassed myself for a minute there. Alright, let's get a game plan going. We're going to have to kill Nito's mobs repeatedly, so it's probably best if we just let Nito deal with them himself. If we can just keep circling the area while Nito does most of the work. Ah! <laughs> Stop! Stop tickling me! I'm going to throw up! Jesus, Nito's doing more damage to his boys than I am. And there you go, one lord sold down. Three to go. You know, this isn't how I imagined my evening playing out. Oh god. Oh crap, the one time I actually want one of you crystal lizards to disappear and you decide to stick around? Hurry, 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 whew. Okay. No hentai today, you dumb. Oh shit. No playing ball in the house. Uh, it, it was like that when I got here. Oh shit, seafood. Real talk? This seeth fight was easier than when I actually use a real weapon. Two down, two to go. Maybe just one sword swing wouldn't hurt. Oh. Uh, I, I wasn't gonna. <laughs> okay. <sighs> I deserve that one. God damn it, this dog has double the thigh gaps. Why do you keep aiming for the thigh gaps? Screw it, I'll aim it myself. <laughs> no, I'm okay. I just have something in both my eyes. Hooey, you're ugly. Let's fix that. Oh, wow, that actually works. Huh. Still had health, but I guess you win if all the heads come off, too. Neat. Ah, there she is. Any words of wisdom for me? May the flames guide me. Wise words indeed. Alright, time to find out if the ghosts like fire. Shit, 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 shit. Ah, there we go. That's better. Ow. Ow. Ow! Fucking quit! Okay, let's see how this goes. Ooh, that's not very good. Yep, saw that one coming. Plan B. There we go. Much better. Yeah, that's right. I killed your buddy. What are you going to do? Oh, fuck. It is nice that the other kings all let each other take turns. Makes this TPS fight a little bit easier to manage. Well, it was five kings, not four, but I'll take the victory all the same. Now then, let's go deal with our problem, children. So here's the scoop. Pretty much every boss from here on out is fire resistant or fire proof. And fire bombs, I know it's hard to believe, do fire damage. So that's a thing. As a great example, here's Ceaseless doing his thing. As you can see, fire bombs do diddly, and the hidden poise damage isn't what triggers him to fall off the cliff. So we're gonna have to get creative. Turns out, if you move fast enough, you can get across this series of lava rocks and skip the Ceaseless entirely. If you're fast enough. It takes a few tries, but eventually I navigate the stones correctly and make it across. The fun part is that the bonfire that normally appears over here won't spawn unless Ceaseless is dead. So I hope you like chocolate, full moons, and long walks on lava-strewn beaches, because if you die, you're gonna have to do it all over again. Thankfully, the Demon Fire Sage really isn't that bad. Just toss and boss your way to victory. Alright boys and girls, it's time for my favorite movie, AI Fight 2. Praise it till you make it. Damn it, Solaire! Get out of the lava! Th uh, you know that's not what I meant! Don't get me wrong, Solaire can dish out some hefty damage when he wants to. But the man's an idiot, and the firebomb distraction technique isn't working very well. So we're just going to have to do it a bit differently. Hug this wall as hard as you can, bait the bite attack, get used as dental floss for a few seconds, and, if done properly, bam, centipedes in your ceiling. I hope I never have to say that phrase ever again. Wait a little bit longer, and watch as your problem child throws itself into the void. Alright, 
Time for the big one. Let's do this. I've heard tell that there's an easy way to just throw firebombs from the center of the room to knock out the bed's limbs, but I don't know it. So we're just gonna have to go with the old reliable and hoof it. Do the same thing on the right hand side, then make your mad dash to the middle. Now we just need to burn the bug alive and... Uh oh. Let me just maneuver the camera a bit here. There. It, uh, it died of natural causes. Alrighty, that's all the main bosses. We can officially go after Gwyn and end the run. But I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious about how the DLC bosses hold up. So let's go test that right quick. Ah! Ah! Quit! Stop! Quit it! God, why are you so aggressive? All kidding aside, this boss took me the better part of an hour to figure out. It attacks quickly, leaving very little time to get a hit in, and our damage is low enough that missing too many hits is going to leave us in a bad spot, ammunition-wise. But, after several deaths and more grinding than I care to admit, I got him. Not even close. Now then, let's see how the old boy is doing. This asshole. This asshole right here. I don't even have jokes for this. Not only can Artorius fucking Matrix dodge 90% of my bombs, but look at the damage. Does that look like 1% of his health to you? Because I can tell you right now it's not. I did what I could, buffing up my Estus Flask and wearing Havel's armor so I could force feed him firebombs by hand, but his damage output is just too strong. Especially after he buffs. Free aiming didn't help very much either. He's just too fast. So I had to revert to the old dogma of get good. I studied his patterns, figured out his timings, and found out that of all of his movesets, there are only two, count it, two, that have enough time to get a firebomb in safely and with decent accuracy. The problem I kept running into is that every so often, Artorius just decides that he doesn't want to get hit today. It was the right animation, and it's hit him every other time, but nah, not feeling it today. Now, normally, okay, fine, Dark Souls 1 hitboxes, whatever. The problem, though, is that Artorius has 3,750 HP. My black firebombs do 32 damage. Sometimes they do a little bit more because of counter damage, but we can't rely on that, so we're just going to say 32. 32 times 99 is 3,168. Our vanilla wafer firebombs do 19 damage, 27 on counter hits, but again, cannot rely on that. And 19 times 99 is 1,881. Plug those two numbers together, and you get 5,049. That's enough to kill Artorius, but not by much. You've only got about 1,000 hit points of wiggle room. That sounds like a lot, but let me give you some perspective. You would have to hit Artorius with every single black firebomb and about 50 of your regular firebombs, or every single one of your regular firebombs and a little bit more than 30 of your black firebombs. That's, at best, roughly 130 successful hits on Artorius. And as I stated before, Artorius is notorious ha, for dodging your firebombs at the last second. So while it sounds like it's not particularly awful, it is. It most definitely is. Not to mention that the bastard is one of the most aggressive bosses in the game and he buffs up occasionally to make your mistakes even harder to recover from. Now, I gave it my all. I tried this boss for several hours. But in the end, my old friend Time and adult responsibility told me enough was enough. And I decided to simply give Artorias the respect he deserves and leave him be. Congratulations, buddy. You're one of the few challenges that I couldn't overcome. Thankfully, I did a little extra research and looked up some of the remaining bosses of the DLC. Turns out their health pools are even larger, and that it is literally impossible to beat them with firebombs alone. The damage output is simply too low. So we wouldn't have been able to progress past Artorias anyway. If you want to see Artorias beaten with firebombs alone, you can watch Lobos Jr., who is patience personified, do it on one of his streams. Just warning you now though, it took him over an hour. So with that out of the way, there's only one thing left to do.
And that's it. Can you beat Dark Souls 1 with only fire bombs? You sure can. And you can kill most of the bosses on the way as well. Turns out my wife was right all along. Fire bombs truly are the best build. Now if you'll excuse me, I believe I've fulfilled my duties as Herald of the Firebomb Goddess. It's time for me to ascend to my rightful station. This, uh... This hurts much more than I thought it would. Hey, Goddess? Goddess? Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the run. If you liked the video, make sure to do all the YouTube things so that YouTube knows that you YouTube. Also, don't forget to follow along with my madness on Twitch, Twitter, and or Discord, where I sporadically stream, post, and interact with the community, respectively. Quick shout out to my patrons, whose generosity has helped this channel's quality improve vastly over the last few months. My heartfelt thanks goes out to Lord Ham, Drum Smasher, Wilhelm, Longith Dave, Jeffrey Zephyr, Kunzio, and Albert Plant. And lastly, a quick shout out to, well, literally everyone else. For reasons I still don't fully comprehend, you've all decided that I'm worth watching, and we've finally crossed that 1,000 subscriber milestone. I can honestly say that I had no expectation to ever get to this point, but I am excited to be here and just as excited to see what's in store for the channel in the future. Other than that, that's about all I've got. Stay safe out there, bearers seek seek lest, and I'll see you all again soon.